when you're meditating, you're getting some control over your own mind. And sometimes it seems like the whole practice is something you have to do for yourself. But you have to remember, where did you learn about the practice? What examples have you seen that have inspired you to follow the practice? It's because of that principle that we need to learn from others before we can act on our own. That the Buddha once said that having admirable friends is the whole of the, the life of the practice. They can't do the work for you. But when you choose good friends, people who are admirable in their character, and then you try to emulate them. Because it is a principle that the people you hang around with have a huge influence on the kind of person you're going to become. And so what kind of person do you want to be? What kind of person has a good future? The Buddha lays out four qualities. One is conviction in the principle of action, that your actions really do make a difference and you are responsible for them. So you've got to be careful about how you act. Two, be virtuous. Don't act in any ways that would harm yourself or harm other people. Three, be generous. When you have things, when you have things to share, be willing to share, and get, have a sense that you really are wealthy in terms of time, energy, knowledge that you can give to others. And then finally, discernment. You can see what arises in the mind that's going to lead to suffering. What arises in the mind that's going to lead away from suffering. And you apply that knowledge in your daily life. So those are the four qualities you would like to develop in yourself. So you look for those in other people too. So you have good examples to follow. Because you can learn the general principles like this in a short Dhamma talk. But actually how these principles work out in real life. It's good to have a real example. And not just one real example, lots of good examples. So an important part of the practice is finding admirable friends and entering into admirable friendship. In other words, not just hanging around with good people, but also imitating their, their good qualities. The Buddha places this many times at the very beginning of the path. He says, you start out with having admirable friends. And then you learn about good things to, to do, good things to say, good things to think. And their good habits then become your good habits. There are several suttas where the Buddha starts out with admirable friendship and then works, it, works his way all the way up to awakening. So if you choose the right people, that friendship can take you far. If you choose the wrong people, it can pull you down. Because as I said, you turn to become like the people you hang out with. So you have to look very carefully at who you hang out with, why you're hanging out with them. If it's not for a noble motive, you might want to question, is this friendship worth continuing? Because there are noble people in the world, and it's a good thing to aspire to become one of them. And you do that by entering into good friendship with them. So the practice is not just what you do on your own with your eyes closed. It starts with very basic things like this, who you hang out with, who you listen to, who you emulate. This can be people you know in person and also people you basically encounter through the internet, through the websites you frequent, the videos you watch. Who are you hanging out with? Are these the kind of people you want to become? If not, change your, change your settings. Look for someone who would be a good example. and then try to maintain that friendship as best you can.